welcome to another video. So today I bring you an exciting video and as you can tell from the background here, I have an empty desk area and that is because I finally got a rising desk or a stand-up desk. I think that's what they're called. I have been wanting to get one of these desks for the longest time and I finally found one on Facebook Market and me and my husband went to go pick it up yesterday and I'm so excited that it's here finally. It was an exhausting day yesterday from going back and forth, picking this up and then putting it in here. I don't know if you guys remember from my previous videos, but uh, my desk used to be facing the window that's right in front of me and I liked that setup, but I needed a refresh. I needed to move things around here and I am so glad that we did. We like to move things around every so often. It's good to move things around at least once a year just to kind of keep the energy flowing and also with spring just around the corner I figured it was the perfect time to just move things around and give our space a little refresh so I suppose this is gonna be kind of like a spring a pre-spring reset video and I'm gonna be focusing on my creative desk area because I spend a lot of time here and for me it is so important to keep this space tidy nice and clean inspirational so the desk is set up you guys I already have my monitor here I also put up two little shelves over here and I'm excited to make this entire wall behind my monitor like a little collage wall I'm pretty sure you guys have seen some of my um, art in my previous videos so I'm gonna put some of those up and then I have I think like two new frames that I'm gonna show you guys and I'm just gonna move things around I forgot to mention if you're new here hi my name is Kim I am an author illustrator and here on my YouTube channel I love to create cozy and intentional content about books writing and just all around cozy lifestyle I post videos at least twice a week right now so there's a lot of videos coming your way in previous videos that you can I watch so if that is something that you're interested in I would love to have you so feel free to subscribe down below so that being said friends let's get into this pre spring clean video <laughs> let me show you guys this stand-up desk that I got on Facebook market it is pretty big and it was so heavy you guys all right so I think you could see it better from here this is 60 inches across and it's a stand-up desk it has the little monitor thing to move it up and down over there on the corner and I absolutely fell in love with this type of wood I'm not sure what this kind of wood color is called I always try to go for what is called an oak wood I don't think this is in particular an oak wood but it is fairly close and I do like sort of the different wood tones that it has so that was great and I honestly got this super Super cheap you guys and it was secondhand I got this for $50 so I think I'm gonna get started with the collage wall first and then move on to setting up my entire desk area for those of you who are stumbling upon this video and are new to my channel I really love a moody dark cottage core type of vibe a little bit mixed with whimsy goth and dark academia I really love warmer and darker tones so you're gonna be seeing a lot of that on here that's just my jam that is what keeps me inspired I love those color palettes so that's usually the decor that I lean towards to so friends let's get started with the collage wall and then move on to the desk it feels so good to be able to put this down and up seriously <laughs> I'm not gonna get that tired anymore I recently got this frame at a local thrift store and I fell in love with this. I'm not a fan of the print that is inside, but the frame is just absolutely gorgeous. Are you guys ready? Look at this beautiful gold frame you guys i'm pretty sure there's like a glare on the camera the picture is not bad it's like a little a little baby cherub girl <laughs> but the frame look at this frame it is just gorgeous and the cut inside it has like this arc i really love that style i am thinking of changing the image in here eventually but i'm just gonna put it up like that for now just for the sake of having it up on the wall and then i'll go ahead and come back in here and change this once i find a print that i really love Okay, we're 
we're making progress. We have two up already. I wanna show you the other frame that I got that I love so much. Are you ready? Look at this beautiful fairy gold frame with the fairy picture in the middle that I found for only $5 at the thrift store. I absolutely love this and I cannot wait to add it to my collage wall back here. I'm trying to put it where there's like no glare, but I mean it's impossible because it's glass, but it's just so pretty. So I'm thinking of adding this maybe somewhere over there, maybe here. Okay, friends, so I'm taking a little break. I'm drinking some water because this reorganizing stuff, it is so exhausting. But I just wanna talk about really briefly about why I believe is important or why I personally love reorganizing and decluttering. I mentioned a little bit about it in my intro, but I just kinda wanna bring up the conversation again because I truly feel very passionate about reorganizing and decluttering. I grew up in a household where my mom would sort of move her furniture at least once a year, especially during usually this time of the year when we were transitioning from winter to spring season. And she always mentioned that in a household, energy tends to get trapped, you know, whatever you might be going through in the year, whether it is good or not so good, sometimes that energy or how you're feeling, your emotions, they tend to circle in in the space that you live. I mean, we all have those days where we might not feeling our best. My mom always explained to me that that energy that we're feeling vibrate and it kind of leaves a sort of residue behind and those type of emotions tend to usually to come up during the winter season when you are spending more time indoors uh, because it's colder and it's rainy and a lot of people just tend to be more indoors during the winter season. And so if you are someone, for example, who tends to go through seasonal depression, especially during the winter season, and you're feeling that tremendously during that time of the year, then that sort of energy is going to be leaving behind that residue in your living space. And so by cleaning your space, rearranging especially your furniture around, even if it's one or two pieces, really helps move the energy and uh, get it away from your space. Because if you really think about it, when you are moving furniture around, you know, the air is sort of moving around with it and whatever energy might have been trapped in a corner or wherever it might have been, then you're moving that space 
that that energy around you're getting it out of that space but it's important to um personally i love to sweep around everywhere in my space and push it out the front door i like to open the windows so i just grew up with the concept that when you open your windows when you uh, move around your furniture when you really take the time to do a a, a, a deep cleanse of your space when you get rid of stuff that has accumulated over the year it's always very uh necessary and even the space just feels lighter which it does in my opinion i don't know what the science or the magic behind all of that is but all i know is the feeling that it gives me so I piled up a bag of stuff that I am no longer needing, that I am okay with getting rid of. I also took out some books that I no longer want as well. I am almost done with the desk setup, but I think I want to do a cozy craft with you guys. So, so I think we're going to do that next because I finished fairly fast the setup back here, but I am going to show you guys how it came out towards the end of the video. So stick around. But you guys, I have here some dried up flowers that I pressed sort of pressed from a recent bouquet that my husband got me for valentine's day so i am thinking that i want to make some floral botanical bookmarks and i have a laminator that i love using i love laminating stuff just to protect it so i'm thinking i'm gonna make some laminated floral bookmarks with these dried up flowers so let's do that <laughs> Hello friends, it is the next 
day i stopped filming yesterday because i started feeling a little bit ill in the afternoon and so i didn't want to push my body i have to continue to remind myself that whenever i'm just not feeling my best it is okay to stop and i need to give myself permission to pause and rest because it can be so easy for me to just continue going and totally disregard my body and i am someone i think i've mentioned this before in some of my videos but i do live with a chronic illness and and it can be extremely hard some days and I need to remind myself that my body works in different energetic rhythms and I need to honor those. So I granted myself some permission to rest yesterday afternoon and I stopped filming and I stopped arranging my desk and whatnot. But today I am in my car, as you can tell, and I'm right outside Office Depot because I want to get a print printed in a large format scale. I'm pretty sure you guys remember me mentioning yesterday that large gold frame that I have that I thrifted and I was saying how I love the frame but I just don't love the image inside and I was gonna maybe search on Etsy and buy a print to put in there. I think I mentioned something like that yesterday and I was searching Etsy yesterday for a print to download that I can buy and then I remembered I was all like Kim you're an illustrator. You're an artist. You have many beautiful prints prints that you can go to your local print store and print out and you can put in this beautiful frame and it will look amazing and I often downgrade my I guess like my skills and what I do I am someone who loves to just always stay humble I don't know it's just really hard for me to think of my skills and what I have been able to accomplish or what I do in general as this big thing it's just really hard it's really hard hard for me to accept that even when my family or anyone is talking to me about what I do and you know being an illustrator and having had illustrated book covers and having having my first book come out I I don't know in my brain I always just like downgrade those things because it has been something that I've always just expected of myself so when I have been able to accomplish those things it just seems like okay well I was supposed to get this it's not that big of a thing I told myself I was gonna get this and now on to the next and that way of thinking i am working on myself you guys i am working on really admiring the work that i do and giving myself a pat on the back and sitting with myself and realizing that what i do takes tremendous amount of work and effort and if it wasn't for my consistency and my daringness to dream and to push myself then i wouldn't be here doing what i love to do i had one of those moments yesterday as i was uh looking through prints to buy off of etsy and i was like wait kim girl you're an illustrator you have amazing prints that you have designed that you can easily go <laughs> and print out and put in this uh beautiful frame so that is what i'm doing i chose one of my prints to come and print in a large scale i'm thinking of printing it 16 by 20. i am also very excited to print my print my illustration because you guys i am i have been working secretly behind the scenes in illustrating more because this is the first time i'm announcing it okay and i'm gonna announce it here i am thinking well not thinking anymore it has been decided i am going to reopen my art shop it has been oh my gosh it has been over a year since i closed down my art shop to be completely honest i absolutely miss it i miss it so much i miss having an online store that i can sit down in my desk and just um package all my prints and stickers and whatever i'm gonna be selling and shipping it off to people from all over the world it just gave me such a beautiful feeling to realize that people love my work and as someone who tends to live a lot in her head it can be quite easy for me to just get in my head space and have feelings of like why am i even doing this like no one no one likes what i'm doing like what i'm doing is dumb and i just i shouldn't be doing this i have a lot of self-doubt moments and I remember when I would ship my art to different places around the world, it would just be a beautiful affirmation and reminder that there are people that love my work and that they are willing to spend their very hard earned money to purchase something that I created. I 
am just missing having an art shop in general. I find the process of packaging very meditative and easeful and it's just so satisfying. So this is my first practice run and trying to reopen my art shop by me printing a large scale print for my frame and seeing how that looks. So I'm going to take you along and get that printed and then put it in my frame and then give you a little tour of my desk. So let's go friends. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I'm trying to get a good angle because the glass reflects a lot and there's glares on there as you can see, but it looks so amazing. I am so happy with how this turned out. It makes me so happy to have my art in beautiful frames. Oh my gosh. Hello friends. I did not anticipate for this video to be shared in a span of a couple days. For you guys, it might not seem like it's been a few days, but it has. The first day that I was filming, I ended up not feeling well, so I had to take a pause on filming. And then when I touched base with you guys and I was gonna go and get my print printed, I did go do that, but I thought it was gonna be like a same day, just wait a couple minutes and we'll have your poster ready. And it ended up being that they couldn't have it available till the next day. So I had to wait wait till the next day to continue filming because I really wanted to show the poster in this video. I am so happy with how my art looks in this beautiful frame. This has been a beautiful reminder for me to fully embrace the things that I am passionate about, the things that I know I am fairly good at, and to just run with them, to lean into them. Sometimes I get a little scared and I don't wanna come off as being very self-centered or selfish, but the truth of the matter is, is that we should take pride in the things that we are good at and the things that make us happy and the things that we do and the things that we wanna continue pursuing. And we should be proud of that and we should showcase that and nourish those things. So. I am gonna do my little spring uh, refresh tour of my desk. I moved some things around and I have been working in this space now for like the last two days. And you guys, it has been amazing. I am so glad that I uh, opted to get a standing desk. My productivity has gone up so much. I find myself not getting uh, tired or just overwhelmed when I'm sitting here at my desk. I just stand up if I'm feeling a little bit tired and the way that I have been working, it just has completely changed. Okay, so let's do a little cozy tour of my spring cleanup desk area. So you guys have pretty much seen how my collage wall looks like. This is a mixture of prints that I previously had downloaded from Etsy, such as this one, this one, and then this one right here. And then the rest, like this one and this one, are 
my illustrations. This is like a previous Patreon print. And then this right here, you can't really see it that well, but this one I, I painted with acrylics and it was just, I loved the whole process. And this, I think I bought this from the store a long time ago. So these right here, I actually have this lit up right now, but you can't really see it because it's daylight. But at night, this is supposed to be a, a crystal ball that I got from, I think, Michael's last year or two years ago. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. But I got this during the Halloween season and it serves as a little lamp. And at night, it just looks so beautiful. It lights up the entire wall and it's just so magical. This I also got from Michael's and it's another Halloween decor. You guys, for me, Halloween decor just opts as great all year round decoration. Even though these are both Halloween quote unquote decor, I use them year round because it's just my vibe. Okay, you guys, so this is also another Halloween decor from many years ago that I've just kept all year round. I really love it is like when the palm reading and what every section of your hand means. If you know me, you know that I am a fan of tarot and oracle cards. This is one of my most favorite decks that I own and it is the literary witches oracle and it has a whole bunch of woman writers that make up this oracle deck and each writer means something very significant and profound and uh, I just absolutely love it and the illustrations are just gorgeous and then this little boss I've had forever and I just put some dried flowers that I had Okay, I hope you guys can see me well. I'm pretty far away from you guys, but I just wanna share this beautiful cabinet that I just got from my local thrift store. I got this from Goodwill for only $15, and it had a label on here that said it was a Curio cabinet. And if you're familiar with Curio cabinets, I mean, I say Curio because of my Spanish, but um, in English, they're called cabinets of curiosity. And if you're familiar with those, these are intended to hold all your little collectibles that are curiosities, things that are a little strange and weird. A lot of people do use these to hold all of their insects and little things that they collect that um, have been taxidermied. I don't know if that's weird, but I find that very interesting. I grew up with the concept that especially insects and animals hold energy even after they leave their bodies and in the magical community people use elements of like animal bones and furs and certain type of things to, um, after an animal has passed away they use those things to elevate their magic or as protection charms or whatever it might be. I decided to buy this because I do want to collect rare and unique little totems and things. I just find that to be just such a magical thing and it might be weird for some people but for me I just find that very cool. I did find this seller on Etsy who taxidermies butterflies and moths that she gets from a local farm that protects these butterflies and moths and after they have naturally passed away she buys them and she taxidermies them. So these insects have passed away from natural causes. I don't know. I I might want to buy one or two. I already have a few things in here. The only thing I'm going to share with you guys that I have on here that I absolutely love is I actually inherited my great grandmother's tarot cards. So she had four sets of tarot cards and I actually inherit these. She passed away a few years before I was born and my grandmother, her daughter, kept them around and she also used them. So I come from a family of avid tarot readers. Maybe that's why I also find that very interesting and All right, friends, so as you can see, I put some lights on here just to make the area cozy. I really wanted my entire working creative space to feel cozy, and I feel like lighting really adds magic, especially like warm, dim lighting really makes an area feel cozy and warm. Starting off here, I have here, you guys all know Mr. Fox. For those of you who are new here, Mr. Fox is my TBR jar. This is where I keep all of my uh, physical, or this is a list of all my physical and red books that I tend to pull from here once a month. So that's Mr. Fox and he lives on my desk. This little item, it's supposed to go on the wall, but I just like to keep it here as a little mirror and it's a little tin house. I got this from a Latine store in San Diego and I 
love all the little details on here it just looks so beautiful i have here a couple of candles this candle holder i thrifted this candle holder i also thrifted and it's one of my favorite candle holders that i own because it has stars all around i have here two books that i just have not read but i love their book covers and they kind of just go with it's what the river knows and also an education in malice and then over here if you guys didn't know i am a huge studio ghibli fan and i have a couple of my studio ghibli figures this is actually a music box from kiki's delivery service and i absolutely love it moving on to my desk mat and my keyboard so my desk mat is very much me. So it's, it's a desk mat with mushrooms and botanical plants and I just adore it. I got this from Amazon and then my keyboard, I love the color. It's like a bronzy brown color with a matching mouse. If I could find those, I will link those down below for you guys if you guys are interested. Moving on to the other corner of my desk is my lamp that I absolutely love. I ended up switching the light bulb on here. I don't think you can tell from this lighting but it is shooting out sort of like an orangey light but it actually changes colors i can go into the app that is attached to this light bulb and play around with the colors and change the colors around and this lamp i got it from target it is bronze and black and i love it it's giving me all the dark academia vibes that i love this is a candle of the empress tarot card i got this a few years back when i went to this it was during the fall i went to a fall halloween inspired witchy inspired market and there were these sellers who were, who were ah, ah. and there were these sellers that were selling tarot candles and i love the empress i love the design of the empress so i got this candle and then this statue back here is actually the statue of venus damilo i got this from the flea market and i absolutely love her I love that it's in this bronzy color and it just looks rustic and vintage. I think this is, what is this, a Greek goddess, I believe? And then this little frame I also thrifted and I cut up an old Patreon print <laughs> and I just squished it in there. But eventually I want to take this out and paint something small. That way you can actually see it. You'll find that a lot of my stuff in my entire space is pretty much thrifted. I love thrifting stuff and here you guys is another print from a previous patreon design that i created i think this was from this year actually i this was the print for january and i love how this looks in this beautiful frame that I, I got from this was discounted i think from oh my gosh where was it home goods i think and then back here you guys is my beautiful little pencil holder that is a whole bunch of vintage books that's what it's supposed to be and this is a little drawer where i just keep like my camera batteries and then down here you guys is just where i keep a whole bunch of my notebooks i have like my journaling notebook my book reads notebook i have my planner over here and then over there is my laptop my ipad and my kindle overall friends i really love how this space turned out i do need to spring it up more but i think right now first was first is just moving things around making the energy in the space move and setting new intentions for what I want this space to hold for the remaining of the year I am planning on adding a couple more like flowers so those are projects to look forward to as spring starts rolling around this is just a reminder that you do not need to buy or purchase super expensive things to make your space look cozy and intentional I think what matters is to add things that make you happy. I find a lot of unique and beautiful things at thrift stores and secondhand shops. And I love always shopping through thrift stores and secondhand shops, even on Etsy as well. With that being said, friends, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed my videos, please remember to like, subscribe, and engage. I would really, really appreciate it. And the YouTube algorithm will be working in my favor if you do. Let me know if you are also a fan of doing spring resets. Let me know what it is that you do whenever you are doing a spring reset what is what does that encompass what does that look like thank you again friends i appreciate you so much and remember that you can create the life that you want because you so deserve it friend i will see you in a video very soon take care and bye for now